Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about why GPS is important. But first of all, Darren, what is GPS? You know, we think about farming and a lot of times people think, well, you know, farming, it can't be that technical. It must be pretty easy and, and guys could just go out and do it. No, that's absolutely wrong. Actually, farming is one of the most technologically advanced jobs that there is in our country. And you say, how can that possibly be? Well, when we're farming on our farm, we're taking signals from satellites to tell us exactly where we are in the field to be within one inch. So we're well, just wait, perfect though. on everything. Yes, but we're using that global positioning system, the satellites that are up in the air, and we're getting signal there. But we're also getting ground correction. So we have a base station that's within six miles of wherever our tractor will be. And if you say, well, how can you have that many base stations? Well, you can take a base station and move it. It can be mobile. You can set it up on a tripod. But anyway, that ground correction is what allows you to be sub-inch accurate. Just GPS, you can probably get within four to six inches but when you get the ground correction now you're sub inch accurate so just last night as a matter of fact i was driving along and i saw a farmer planting and i saw that he had no markers down and i just thought wow <laughs> i know that guy for a fact is using gps and i'm sure he's using what they call RTK GPS, where he has the ground correction. Because if you don't have markers out there, you're totally counting on the satellites and the ground correction to tell you where to keep planting next. Well, let's just think about our own farm and, and give you a couple of examples here. We put our fertilizer on in the fall. And in a lot of cases, we're doing strip till, where we're gonna band it all in one tight little band to protect that fertilizer from getting tied up by the soil. A lot of times, fertilizer will get tied up and then it's not available to next year's crop. So we'll put it in this tight little band, and then in the spring, using this RTK correction, we'll go right over the top of that band and be right on the money. So our plants are going just above that fertilizer, so when their roots start to grow, they'll grow right into this nice zone of plant nutrition, and we're getting better crops, using less fertilizer to do it and also our rows look really pretty Brad because they're <laughs> just perfect. Yeah you know I get a charge out of this our dad just a few years ago he would always tell us how straight he could drive and everything so one day in the fall you know he's retired now but anyway one day in the fall he came out and he was chisel plowing and my little son at the time, I don't know, he's four or five years old, something like that. He's talking his ear off, of course. And I called him up just to check on how my son was doing. And I said, yeah, I'm sure you're able to, you know, have this thing drive straight because it's got auto steer in it. And he goes, well, I don't know how to run the auto steer. He was half done chisel plowing the field. So I had somebody run down there and get him set up on this GPS thing. So then he didn't have to touch the steering wheel anymore until he came around the ends. Uh, well, anyway, I'll just put it this way. I've never heard dad say how straight he can drive after that because you could see it right to the line the rest of the fall where the GPS had taken over. It was so nice and straight. But what Darren said about the fertilizer, that's the thing that I think about the most with this GPS deal. We're now able to use less fertilizer and maximize the efficiency of that fertilizer. So when we talk about going green and being environmentally friendly, that GPS really allows us as farmers to do just that. Well, the other thing, Brian, in addition to saving on fertilizer, farmers are also saving on seed and applying less pesticides to their fields because now when we have the computer watching things and where we've been out in that field, as we get to an area that we've already sprayed or that we've already planted into, it can automatically shut off rows on your planter or booms on your sprayer or sections of the boom on your sprayer so you don't double cover a certain area. And what we found is where we were double covering, let's say you had a field that's a triangle and when you get to that little triangle, you've got to plant twice to kind of cover one area. We were putting out a whole bunch more seed. Our yield was going down because there were too many plants for that little area. And we were spending extra money on seed and getting poorer yields. Now we fix that. Farmers can be a lot more efficient with some of these important inputs that they're putting in their fields. One last thing I guess I would mention is we are installing drain tile on our farm now. And when we do that, we can very accurately place the drain tile so it can last that many more years. And we also have all the coordinates so we know where everything is below ground on our farm. So there are just a lot of advantages advantages to GPS. It's so important on the farm today. So, I mean, I'm sure hoping we never lose GPS. Otherwise, we're going to step back about 20, 30 years on the farm. Well, hopefully someday GPS will be able to spot every weed of the week out in our field so we can wipe them out. This weed is one of the biggest yield robbers. Can you identify it?